Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, install and use the Munt emulator or synthesizer. This is for the Roland MT32 sound synthesizer and you can get it here on this website. Go there. You could download it here and just select the version. For me it's Windows so you just download it here and get it and get it into your computer and just install it. I already installed mine so I'm not going to do it again. And After you install it, um, you're going to have to loc locate uh, the file for it. So. Munt is located here, and then you go here. I'm sorry, I screwed up. Okay, Munt here. You right click here, Go here, go to open file location, and you can get this on your onto your desktop, like there, and just start it. So I'm just going to test it out first. Hmm, it's not working. Oh, it's already started. I'm sorry. It, it was right there. So I already started it already and I almost forgot. Um, you're going to have to get the BIOS, I mean the ROM files for this. I have my ROM sets. And um, go here. And then you select the directory. For me, it was in. Um, well, I'll just do it again. Just tutorial. I'm going to select this folder, select, that has my ROM files in it. Uh, the default will be like this, but you want to make it like this so it works, and then click OK. And I'm going to play a MIDI file. I'm going to add a MIDI file and play it. <laughs> See, I'm changing the tempo here, making it faster. This is the default speed. I could add another one. I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna play this one. Okay, that works. <coughs> so I'm gonna exit out of that. <coughs> and now I'm gonna go into my DOS box and let me press F12 to uh, minimize the window to get it into Windows mode. Okay, there. Here. I want to enter some commands. So this is the command I want to enter. <coughs> Mixer. Sorry about that. Mixer. List MIDI. So as you can see, I have zero, which is Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth, and one, which is MT32 Synthesizer Emulator. 
this is for the Roland MT32 synthesizer so I have it here and I have installed it into my computer so you could see it there next thing I want to do is I want to go into the dot conf5 dot conf file and configure it so I'm gonna copy that because that's where it is located on my computer your computer may be different and then it's user, then it's, this is my username on my computer, then it's a app data, then you go to local, then you go to um, DOSBox. I have so many, but um, the one you want to get to is here. So you want to open this with text editor or notepad which I already have done. So there it is. This is not related to the video. I'm just going to change the resolution. Okay, that's good. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to change some stuff for uh <coughs> for the sound. Okay, for MIDI config, I want to put number one, which was this thing right here. Okay, and the next thing I want to change is I want to change this. I'm sorry, not that. This thing I want to change it to 4800. I want the sound quality <coughs> to be for 4800. I'm going to scroll down here and just leave everything here, just like that. Don't touch that. I'm going to leave this to 4800 again. You could change it to whatever you like. You could change it to this if you want. Or 49,716, but I like 48,000. That's my preference. Um, the next one I want to change is for PC speaker. This is true. This will also be 4,800. This will be 4,800. And that's pretty much it save. Now the configuration is saved. Okay. I'm going to run a game in DOSBox. I'm going to set the sound here and I want the sound system to be MT32 
or LEPC1 for my sound synthesizer. This is correct. Now I'm going to play Wing Commander. Okay, that's it. Um, I successfully ran a game with Roland MT32 synthesizer, and you saw that it worked. So that's all you have to do to get it to work for your DOSBox 0.74 emulator. So I'm going to close this. So to close it, just go here and go to exit. I opened up too many, unfortunately. Um, so I'll open it up again. So it goes here. I forgot about that. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to close that. Now it's finished. Okay. Um, thanks for watching by Ace1000KS1975. Signing out.